Hi guys, this is Michelle over at Hesketh Emporium and Headbands for Heroes UK. Um, hand shots today only. Right, for those of you who are visual learners, I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to make the scrunchies. Um, the pattern is online, you already know where that is, so go and find that and download the directions for what to cut out. But basically to land up with a scrunchie that size and put two buttons on it, what you need is your length of fabric, whatever that is, plus your one length of elastic. First thing you do is fold it in half, attach your piece of elastic onto the one end, stretch it across your fabric, onto the wrong side of your fabric, and attach it there again. So then the next step is to fold the fabric right sides together, so the good sides of the fabric together with the elastic on the outside. You don't start at the end, you start a few centimeters in from the end, and you'll see why in a minute. So I'm going to go and take that to the machine and simply do a quick back tack and then sew the full length of your tube. Keep your elastic out of the way as you sew. Now my fabric is a bit longer than the pattern. Because I wanted to make a slightly fuller scrunchie, but any, you know, that size that we give 55 centimeters is more than adequate. So when you get about the same distance from the other end, back tack again and remove it from the machine. So now you've got your open ends. So all we're going to do now is turn the tube inside out. Because this is quite wide, you can do it by hand. If it's narrower than that, just use your tube turner or whatever method you you generally used to. So there you go, I'm pulling it through. So now I've got the good side or the right side of my fabric on the outside and now the elastic is incorporated into the middle of the scrunchie. This is the bit that's a bit tricky, so I use two pins for this. And I go to each end, and I just push the fabric away from the end, so it's flattish. And I just go about where my stitching started, and I just put a pin in there. And that's just to keep this area as flat as possible. And you repeat that on the other side as well so pull it out find your elastic and just move the fabric volume away from where you are and put a little pin in there have it going away from this seam here because otherwise it will prick you when you're trying to work now you're going to join these two seams that you've got these two raw edges together so you take that one and you go to the opposite side and you grab the opposite sides short edge and you place them end to end if you want to you put a pin here on the two elastics i don't generally but i will do that just to demo that to you don't worry about this end yet you're just going to deal with this short end at a time so you take this end now and you put it under the sewing machine so this is your short end right sides together Matt, do you want to just get a little bit closer here for me, just so that they can see? So this is my short end. There's my middle of my one, and there's the other side there. So I'm only worried about this little bit that's under the press of foot at the moment. So I sew till I get to my elastics, put your needle down, and then scoop out the rest of that short edge, and then line it up with the other top half of that so that you've now got your entire seam. I take that pin out, now you can go over your elastic, keep going, only what worry about what's under the presser foot. So I just keep lining up these short edges as I'm going. When I get to the end, back tack and take it off the machine. Right, so now you can see, hopefully a little bit better, 
that we've now joined it right sides together. So if I flip that up, you can now see I've got a completely closed circle. Okay. Take out your two pins before they prick you. And then where the opening is, you're now just going to close that up. So I fold it over just gently and give it a bit of a finger press one way and on the other side a finger press that way. And I should have said to you, you must keep trimming your threads off as you go. So get rid of those. And then you join the two bits together. It's like a little mouth right on top of each other and that's where the seat, the hole starts so i'm going to put that under the machine and i'm going to do tiny little stitches closing that up now this is a little bit like making a dart in a garment so if you've made a dart before this is easy enough and you want it as close to the edge as you can get it but catching both layers of the scrunchie back tack it at the end and take it off the machine and your scrunchie is done that's it so for anybody who's struggling with those pictures i posted on how to do it i'm hoping that will help you there you go thank you very much have a lovely day happy crafting